energy crisis, of course, is not only a European phenomenon, it's a, it's a global phenomenon, but it's more accentuated in Europe. We've lost a lot of capacity, primary capacity in Europe, roughly 900,000 tons between September and now, and this is due to the high energy prices. I think the crisis with the huge increases has started much before the Ukrainian-Russian war. Uh, it's difficult for the businesses uh, because it's not clear where energy prices are going to go. Uh, Europe is not competitive globally because of carbon prices, high regulatory costs, and also Europe is very much under pressure by low priced imports. So it's really important for us to defend our industry, to defend an entire value chain in Europe for aluminium. Uh, the recent example of magnesium showed us that actually thriving value chains in Europe are really important. So we need to do everything possible to preserve the aluminum value chain in Europe. What we need from legislators is uh, green energy at affordable prices. Uh, we need a CBAM and an ETS revision that is supporting the industry and protecting the industry in Europe. And last but not least, we need trade measures to defend our interests here in Europe. Aluminium is the perfect material because it's a circular material. As an industry, we are fully dedicated and we are fully committed to reaching the carbon targets that are imposed on us. And we would really like to play an active part in this.